Hi, I'm Marco from Overland X, author of the cookbook, The Overland Cook, Food on the Trail with Overland X. I know some of you have been asking me for more recipe videos. I'm sorry, I was really busy, I moved and I didn't have time to work on my videos. At least give you quality videos. But now, this is my first video of the year and I'm gonna start it off with my Overland Ceviche at camp. This time, I'm not at camp, I'm in my backyard, but we're gonna make that ceviche in my RV. Hope you like it. As some of you know, I recently moved to the country here in San Diego. I got this property, was lucky enough to get this property, uh, which I'm working on it. And uh, in the meantime, while we do some additions to the house, my wife and I, we are living in this Sandpiper, which is an awesome RV. And uh, let me show you. So this is where I'm gonna be making the ceviche. This is the Sandpiper 39 Bark, which is a really nice RV. We love it here, my wife and I, we've been really happy. It's a really comfortable, comfortable RV. And what we like about this RV is that, well, that's my mess. I just came back from, uh, from Utah and I need to take care of that. Sorry, guys. And this is an awesome bag that I got from Milestar. Really nice stuff in there. So anyways, this is, this is the Bark 39. Those turn into sleepers. This and this are queen beds, actually. You can sleep six people in this RV. What I like about this RV is it's got the full kitchen. See, it's full size, full size fridge. And this is where I'm gonna be making my ceviche for you guys. The ingredients that I use for my ceviche are simple, not hard to find, and only a few of them. I use cilantro, I use two cucumbers, two tomatoes, one avocado, lemon, about one third of a white onion, and this is my special ingredient here. Inca's food, aji rocoto, and aji amarillo. Salt and pepper, and the fish that I'm using is tilapia. You can use any fish of your liking, but it must be white fish. I'm adding a couple of serrano chiles to give it that spicy taste. You can use more chiles or less chile, depending on your taste and spiciness. I'm gonna start by chopping one quarter to one third of a regular sized onion, put it in a bowl, and add the juice of three lemons. Now I'm gonna clean the serrano chiles. I'm gonna remove the seeds and finely chop them. Now that the serrano is finely chopped, I'm gonna add it in the bowl to let it marinate in the lemon with the onion. We mix it well and we just let it rest there. And now I'm gonna cut the tilapia in about quarter inch in size squares. Once it's cut like this, I will put it in the mix of lemon, serrano, and onion and let it cook in the lemon juice for a few minutes. So last week I spent an awesome week with Trail Recon up in Utah, in Moab, Utah. We attended the Easter Jeep Safari and we had an awesome weekend. It was cold, it was in the 30s and I can't believe on this Easter Sunday in San Diego the weather is amazing, it's beautiful out there. Perfect for a ceviche.
because we live in a rural area, we use water from a well. Uh, the well has really good quality water, even though the water is hard. So we use the on-the-go water softener on the RV, and also the Ultra by Clear Source water filtration system. It's really, really good. I use that uh, this water for everything. I use it to clean. I drink from here, so I'm sure that the water is uh, it's it's good quality water with the filtration and the water softening system that we have. I added four more tilapia fillets to this mix for a total of 12 fillets and it looks like uh, three lemons will not be enough so I'm squeezing the use of two more lemons. You can use as much lemon as you want. The Mexican ceviche is usually made with with lime, with green lime. Um, I like the taste of the lemon and so in my recipe I use uh, I use the lemon instead of the lime. I ended up using the use of six lemons for 12 fillets of tilapia. The acid of the lemon basically cooks the fish. While the fish is marinating and cooking in the lemon juice, the chile serrano, the onion, we're gonna cut the tomato. That's the next ingredient that goes into that mix. Cut the tomato like this. Add the tomato to the mix. Notice that I'm not using the seeds of the tomato. I eliminated that. By eliminating the seeds of the tomato, it gives us, gives us a tomato with less, less watery and more firm. We mix well. I love ceviche because it's a fresh dish with all the fresh ingredients, especially on days like this, which is warm and sunny out there. But I will eat ceviche any day of the year. I will cut the cucumber like this. And also, I will remove the seeds. I'm using two regular sized cucumbers. Now I'm going to chop the uh, cucumber, cut in small stripes like this. And then it's finally chopped like this. Adding more freshness to the ceviche. We add it to the mix. The fish is, uh, you can see, it's already turning white. Like it's it's cooking. It's cooking really, really quick and. The smell of this uh, mix is just incredible. So fresh. Now we're gonna add the cilantro. Cilantro is the Spanish word for coriander. It's a very popular herb in Mexican dishes. It's a lot of flavor and uh, the aroma that this thing gives is just amazing. Now we add a full chopped bunch of cilantro in the mix. We mix the whole fish with the tomato, the cilantro, the chile, serrano, and the cucumber. The onion, the lemon. This is a really good uh, combination of uh, fresh uh, ingredients. Wish you can smell this. This smells terrific. 
Ceviche is a very popular dish in Mexico. And there are also other Latin American countries that have their own ceviche recipe. My ceviche, it's based on a Mexican recipe, but I added a little something, a little extra that gives an extra flavor to my ceviche. I use the Aji Amarillo and Aji Ricotto. I use the Inca's food brand, but if there's other brands out there you can, that you can find, you can use the same uh, ingredients. Um, this will give an extra spiciness to the ceviche. Now that the fish and the rest of the ingredients are marinating in the lemon juice, I'm gonna add salt. You add salt to taste. And I'm gonna add also black pepper. We mix it well. To let it incorporate in the rest of the mix. And now for that extra ingredient, I'm gonna add about two to three spoonfuls of uh, aji amarillo. And another two or three of the aji ricotto. I mean, aji rocotto. We mix it well. And now last but not least, we add the avocado. And we cut it in small squares. We add it to the mix. I'm using a whole avocado for extra flavor and because I love avocado. We cut it like so. We add it to the mix. When you mix the avocado, with the rest of the ingredients, do it carefully. You don't want to mash the avocado. We're not making guacamole here. Oh, the smell, the smell, the aroma that this ceviche has is amazing. Try it at camp, it's super easy to make. I like to serve the ceviche on a tostada, which is a baked corn tortilla. And I like to add mayonnaise to it. Now you assemble the tostada like this. Put your mix of fish and all the ingredients. The ceviche is ready. Just add all that. And you can add some hot sauce, Mexican hot sauce. and you're ready to enjoy a ceviche tostada. you make my recipe of the ceviche tostada. It's made out of tilapia, super fresh for days like this. It's super easy to make. Go ahead and try it. Enjoy it. If you like this recipe, go ahead and subscribe and I would love to read your comments. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Thank you for watching.